6 Things We Loved and 3 Things We Hated About Mother Episodes 1-4 We were all excited for Lee Bo Young's long-awaited return to television, and the heart-wrenching and thrilling Mother has certainly delivered. It's emotional, frustrating, and sometimes difficult to watch as the adorable Haina, played by Hyo Yul, suffers in an abusive family. But the other side of this drama is beautiful, filled with amazing performances, quality writing, and nail-biting suspense that has us turning to the next episode with bated breath. Just four episodes in and I'm completely hooked. There is so much to love and so much to love to hate, but since we can't review every scene, here is a look at six things we loved and three things we really hated about Mother episodes 1 through 4. Sumpi. Display. News. English. 300 by 250. Mobile. English. 300 by 250. ATF. Su Jin, Lee Bo Young, loves birds, it's a big character trait that inspires a lot of her early interactions with Haina and drives the plot in a way, as both female leads choose to migrate following the birds to a better life. This leads to a lot of beautiful shots of migrating birds and stunning scenery but we do wish they'd stop going on about birds all the time. Hated, the couple from hell. Most hated couple on television ever? When they are not lying about beating their child, they are neglecting her, calling her disgusting, or literally putting her in the trash. When Silak, Sun Sukgu, described killing Hain as hamster, he really solidified his place as the worst human being ever and that was before we heard about him throwing a five-year-old off a balcony. Ya Young, Go Sung Hee, is a complex character, she's so easy to hate, and it would have been easy to write her as a one-dimensional villain, but there are moments in the later episodes when she seems pitiful and desperate. Her actions up to that point are unforgivable and her character is one of the worst in Dramaland, but the performance by Go Sung Hee is incredibly engaging and the writing is commendable. But loved, Song Yi Un picking up on their creepiness immediately. What a star! Yi Un, Song Yu Hyun, doesn't come across as the easiest person to be around. She's pushy and stubborn and just a little bit shrill, but who else would you want in your corner if your parents sucked and no one seemed to pay you any attention? Yi Eun is literally getting in everyone's face about Haina's obvious injuries and could tell who was to blame as soon as she set eyes on the creepy parents. Then she's totally in Su Jin's corner when she rescues Haina and asks for her help. Go Song Yi Eun. Hated, kids bullying high night school. This was basically one scene, but it was a hard hitting and very well executed moment that got the ball rolling on Su Jin and Hina's relationship. Like Su Jin tells Hina when she's cutting her nails, dirty children who are clearly not cared for become targets for bullies and bad people, and poor Hina has clearly fallen victim to this. The girl sitting next to her in class says she doesn't want to eat near her because her nails are dirty, and everyone passes their trash from lunch back to her table. Loved, Haina's book of things she likes. Haina is so positive, innocent, and sweet, finding joy in little things like Su Jin smiling or a cup of cafe latte. But hated. 
Ina's book of things she likes. As innocent as her entries are, they actually ring true of a girl who's seen things she shouldn't have and is trying to cope with her trauma by holding on to what small joy she finds in life. When she tells Su Jin she wrote the name of the little boy her stepfather killed, because everyone else had forgotten him and she never would, it is just heartbreaking and far too mature for her few years. Loved, Su Jin willing to risk it all. Just kidnap a kid, why not? It actually comes as a bit of a shock considering the actions of her character up to that point. She's reserved, composed, and mindful of her actions and her interactions with other people. She doesn't seem to want to get close to the children she teaches and pushes Haina away a few times before warming to her. Then suddenly she's all, put this hat on and call me mom. I guess finding a young girl in a trash bag will do that to a person. Loved, Clara raising everybody's kids like a boss. Originally introduced in flashbacks, Clara is the one person Su Jin thinks of when she needs help and someone she feels completely safe with. She's a larger woman with a big flowing skirt the children in the orphanage would hide under during games of hide and seek, she's calm, knows how to approach frightened children, and likes children who eat well. Even years down the line when she's going senile and doesn't remember much, she has lucid moments in which she's a caregiver again, offering sound advice and generally being awesome. Loved, that geeky bird conversation. What a couple of nerds. I'm not sure there's room for romance in this drama, and it's not definite this will go beyond a bit of flirting over a mockingbird mating call, but nevertheless, this moment was very sweet and a welcome escape from all the drama. At least we know they've got more than just the birds in common, since Jin Hong, Lee Jae Yoon, seemed willing to risk it all for Su Jin after just one awkward date. He found out Hina's real name isn't Yoonbok as Su Jin led him to believe, but still offered to let them live with him and to give her medication unofficially. What did you think of the first episodes of Mother? Let us know in the comments, and if you haven't already, start watching the drama below. Ms. West is an English teaching assistant with way too much time on her hands. When she's not watching dramas or shaking it to K-pop, she's studying everything Korean culture with a view to move out there someday soon.